Hey everybody, Star Six Wars One here, and welcome to the first video of the the month of love and heartbreak. Yes, I'm gonna be doing that on with a lot of the intros. For this one, we are going to do a topic first. Oh God, are we going to do a topic? Sundaries, good or bad? Oh, dear God. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, and which I think is like five of you, <laughs> a Sundari is a classical archetype who is very cold, but is also very warm. A hot and cold personality person. The word derives from Soon Soon and Dairy Dairy. Soon Soon is meaning to turn away in disgust, and Derry Derry means to become lovey dovey. Yeah, that pretty much describes a Sundari archetype to a T. Yeah. What I think some people don't know, however, is Sundaries actually have two types. There is the soon version, which their soon soon personality trait is more the definite mood, and you know this. You will know that they're the mean version first, and the good heart is somewhere deep within it. Then there's type B, which is more dairy dairy. AKA, the dairy dairy is much more kind-hearted, but will will hit you once or twice if you really temper them too much. Now, Sundaries are much more famous archetype and kind of hated on, much more than their cousin Yandere, who I'll get into another time. But right now, I'm going to get into the Sundaries. And my experience with them. The first experience I've ever had with a Sundari, believe it or not, was in Full Metal Alchemist. A.K. Rinri Rockbell. She's more the type B. She's very kind and sweet, but piss her off enough, and she'll hit you with a wrench. <laughs> yeah, it's really really bad when she hits you but you know what I'll say this right now she's for the most part a very likable character and portrays one of the things that I really like about Sundaries when they are done right they can just be very happy and just so so much good the problem is Sundaries are so, so easy to, to screw up. This is where the archetype makes it very bad. You have to make them rough, but not unlikable. The problem with that is, if you go too far, you make your characters unlikable. Notable examples... Who, I expect I'll get more into depth with them in a few minutes. Is Asuka from Neon Genesis Evangelion, Naru from Love Hena, and Louise from The Familiar of Zero. These three are for me the pinnacle examples of the Sundari done wrong. They are unlikable, but. We'll get into each of them in a few minutes. I want to talk first and foremost of ones done right. Because ones done wrong are so, so bad. And we'll get into a different topic with them. But first up, I want to also talk about the most famous Sundari of them all. Debatably. Shauna. From Shakugan no Shauna. Now, she starts out very cold, very indifferent, and very harsh. 
But over time, while she realizes her love for Yuji, she grows more into the dairy side. Ironically, she grows out of her tsundere aspects, making her, in my opinion, one of the best female anime characters out there. Is she the greatest? Probably not, but she's one of my personal favorites. She grows out of these aspects and shows a much kinder side to her, and she becomes a better person as a result. That's a tsundere done right. When the tsundere part is not the only thing, or if it is the only thing at first, you develop out of it. That makes a great tsundere. The problem is that they're so easy to screw up, but again, I'll get to that in a minute. Next up, the Shauna clones. Now, the Shauna clones are ones that were originally based on Shauna's tsundere side and sometimes taken up to 11. Unfortunately, these ones range from completely unlikable to understandable, but has their problems to I don't really have an opinion of you. Um, the normal examples I'm going to go with, and I'm going to go with the three I mentioned. The one I don't like, Louise. I'll get to her in a minute. Um, Taiga would be next from Toradora. She is a Shauna clone, but she... But from what I've heard, she's not a Sundari for the reasons you'd think. Or at least the, the reasons you'd like to think. She's a deconstruction of the archetype. Yeah, she's got a short temper and everything else that makes a Sundari a Sundari, but it's also due to the lack of social skills and a broken family. That's what makes her very, very different from the others. And that's what makes her a bit of a better tsundere. Is she incredibly violent? Yes. Is she unlikable? I sadly wouldn't know. I still have yet to see Toradora. But I'm just using Taiga from what I've seen as an example. Then we get into the other one, the one I really don't know. Victorique is considered a Shauna clone, mixed in with a Rei Ayanami clone. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Short opinion of her... I don't see Sundari when it comes to her. I see more closer to Rei Ayanami with a bit more personality. But again, I have not watched Gosik. Actually, that's the thing. I've not watched too many shows with Sundaries. But I have seen enough to at least give them somewhat of a fair judgment. Now, the Shauna clones are usually inferior to Shauna herself, and I can see why. Again, like I've said in my example with Shauna, she is her own unique class. And even though people have tried to replicate her, I don't always think they succeed. If you want my honest to God opinion, of the three, Taiga was probably the closest. But then again, we don't really know. Now we come into the one thing I've been dreading. The three Sundaries that, from what I've heard or even seen... I hate these people. First up, Louise. Oh my god, she's a violent bitch. Yes, she's um, very, very, um, just, she treats her love interest like crap. I'm dead serious when I say that she's a bitch. I'm sorry, there's no better word. And I've heard she doesn't get better. And this is coming from a person who's only heard a little bit about it. And... Uh, it 
bugs me. And she did not get better. Is and she calls her love interest a slave slash commoner and beats him with a whip. That goes too far. You can not do that. That is dumb. <sighs> Believe it or not, though, she's, in, in my opinion, not the worst Sundari. Those, those tiles belong to Asuka and Naru. <sighs> Naru comes off as incredibly unlikable. Again, I've not seen Love Haina, but God, does she piss me off. And I've not even seen it. I have no idea how Keitaru likes her. Unless he's secretly a masochist. But that would not surprise me, actually. <laughs> okay, off topic, going back on topic. But now we get to the one I've been trained the most, and the one I sadly know the most. Asuka Langley. Oh my god, she is just... <sighs> She, her secondary de development is so unlikable. She was already an unlikable character to begin with, but her ship teasing with Shinji and the way she treats him is something that I would call next to a almost a verbal abuse. It's I don't root for her going with Shinji at all, except for the fact that the other option for Shinji is has some creepy un incest undertones another time <laughs> anyways Asuka is just so she's a bitch like she is one of the worst female characters I've come across in anime I am so frustrated with her rebuilds do have her tiny bit better. She's still kind of bad with Shinji, but you at least get at this time that she's at least better. With her in the original series, I despise her. If Gendo wasn't as big a jerk as he was, Asuka would have been on my most hated characters list. I'm dead serious. She was that bad a character. <sighs> She pisses me off. So, you can tell where the main problem with Sundari is. You have to make... If you want to make a Sundari archetype, you have to make them both likable and give them a good reason to be kind of violent. The problem is, those two do not mesh well usually. Shauna has a good excuse. Fighting's all she's known in her life. And Winry has some problems expressing her feelings to good old, um, Ed. Who you could almost consider he himself as a Sundari, but we'll, that's another topic for another time. Ultimately, they are very, very hard to do right. I think that they're the best kind of characters when done right, but they're the worst kind of characters when done wrong. And it's so easy to do wrong. Next up comes the other topic with the Sundaries. Are there too many of them in anime? Yes. As much as I hate to admit it, the archetype is used too much. And unfortunately, there is way too many of them. I named off at least six types of six Sundaries out of dozens, maybe hundreds in anime. The Sundari is one of the most common archetypes, and unfortunately, they're so, so, so easy to screw 
up is not funny. Ultimately, though, the question becomes, are Sundries good or bad? I'm an optimist, and I'll be very honest, I don't think that they're the worst characters out there. So, in my opinion, they're not all that bad. But it's the problem is, it's just you've got to do them right. And you've got to be careful with them to make them likable. So, ultimate opinion is, as much as I'm probably not going to be light for this, I have no problem with the Sundaries just so long as as you make them likable. That's the key here. Make a character likable. And how do you do that? Maybe tone down the soon and keep the dairy for the most part. It's a great way to do a soon dairy is to more so do the type B, in my opinion. Because type Bs are usually better. And usually they are ones, they're still more likable. Yeah, they can be kind of have a devil personality inside, but at least, at least, they are likable from the get-go. And you can start relating to them when they show their more darker sides, except when they go all yandery, but that, again, another topic for another time. So, what do you guys think? Are Sundaries a good or bad thing? Please let me know. Anyways, that's all for me. This has been Star Six Wars 1. And I'll see you guys next time.